Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Well today we're going to be doing something special. We're actually going to be doing something that's not Gundam or Gunpla related. We're going to be doing today an unboxing video of another mecha property. And uh, this mecha property is it's almost as old as Gundam. Um, it premiered back in 1982 and it's already today, this year celebrated its 40th anniversary. So just a few years apart from Gundam. And that property is Macross. Also known as Super Dimensional Fortress Macross. So without further ado, uh, this is going to be an unboxing video of basically one of the first things to be released in America after um, this illegal uh, this lawsuit that was going on for many years, for almost 20 years, I would say, probably more than 20 years, uh, between the, the Japanese studios and the American distribution of Macross, as you know, it's also used to be called, in the US it was known as Robotech. So, a lot of stuff wasn't available for many years, so right before, you know, like, the last thing we had to, got to get was like, like the Macross 2 anime, the Macross Plus anime, and, um, uh, we were actually about almost about to get a video game back, back in the PS1 uh, called uh, Macross VFX 2, the sequel to the original VFX video game that was only released in Japan. Um, those were there were ads for those everywhere. I'm gonna show you. You can see some photos here. Uh, I remember seeing this ad back in the old days on uh, on EGM and such. So um, this game was never released. It was canceled. Never said there was never an announcement why it was canceled. It was just canceled. So, um, the first form of media that has actually been released officially in the U.S. that's macros related is actually what I'm about to show you. It's actually a book. This is the Hidetaka Tenji's Artistry of Macross from Flashback 2012 to Macross Frontier. Now, this is artwork by Hidetaka Tenji. He's originally an artist who was actually, I believe he still originally started uh, engineering. But this is the book, and as you can see, it's released by Udon Entertainment, so, uh, here in the U.S. based, and licensed by Big West, the other stu studio. This is their new logo. <laughs> so, uh, to show you the back and the front. Oh, that's cool. There's so much. Now, let me just read uh, what it says here real quick. Since its small screen debut in 1982, Macross has remained one of the most influential mecha anime of all time. Longtime franchise illustrator Hidetaka Tenjin captures the high-flying action of the series iconic variable fighters like no other artist through his hyper-realistic illustrations for model kits magazines promotional materials and more <laughs> so as you can see let's change it back here all right so here we go have the i forgot the name of this wall creep, but this is the one from the flashback uh this one oh this is a variable fighter from uh Backers 2 uh you got frontier <laughs> Alright, oh, you got the chibi size. Oh, and that's the YF-19, Isamu. And that's the original uh, YF-19, which is my favorite Walkery, because it has that V design. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got, what, macro, we got uh, right here, the Macro 7 Walkery. Uh, Niki Basara. And this, I believe, is the Macro Zero, from I can tell the missile design and the, the designs of it. Yeah, this is the Macro Zero design. So uh, same here, we got the Macross 2, we got the Mega Road with the Valkyrie. Um, I forgot the name of this Varel Fighter. There were so many released during the, Mac the Frontier uh, release. This is, oh no, this is Zero, I believe, yeah, Zero. Uh, Macross Frontier, there you go. You got the Ghost, oh, and the, oh wow, you got the YF-21 with the Ghost. So let's uh, take out this shrink wrap. go oh it's so cool ah. yeah, let's, uh, turn the pages here oh wow history of macros ah the man the myth the legend Shoji Karamori oh man vision creator animation director oh that's cool I like it that it has the original Mac designer and director you know head of a I think I believe he's the head of satellite all right. Oh, cool. So well, here's the index. Macross flashback. True. Just gonna show you a few pages. Sorry, Macross. The Mega Road. Oh, I like that. It has a storyline. Here goes the VF4 Lightning. Here's a Jerwalk mode. 
Let me get up. more lighting for you guys. There you go. Oh man. This is from Minecraft 2. Metal Siren. That's a, that's a good dub. <laughs> oh wow, this is so cool. I like this. Then it has this like kind of. Now I see why the book was released like this instead of like a usual book like this. Because it makes sense, because a lot of the jets, you know, they're flying horizontally, so it makes sense. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is the ones you used in the, the Blu ray, uh, the first time Blu ray release of Macross Plus in Japan, the original art cover. I was trying to get my hands on it, but uh, did not get in time. <laughs> but now we're going to have it. Go 6 9, the Vietnam Thunderbolt. Oh, these are like the Blue Angels, the Blue Tails. It's kind of like the, the Blue Angels of the universe. The YF 19A, YF 19 Demonstrator. Lightnings. Hmm. I was hoping to have some VFX 2 here. Oh, this is it. This is the one from the VFX 2 uh, video game. Because I had like a blue, bluish uh, tint light. Oh, wow. Firebama. Dynamite. Dynamite explosion once again. Uh, my lean special. I honestly, I still, I always thought the figure was kind of weird. <laughs> oh, there you go. Custom sound booster. The VF17. The way 20 The VF22 Strong Roll 2. This is actually Max and Medias uh, that was used in uh, the Micro 7 towards the end. Wow! Look at that Excalibur. Wow! This is so cool. The jamming birds, Night Stalker. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. The VF11 Thunderbolt, but with its armor and huge Gatling gun right here. <laughs> Oh, we got the Macross 7. Oh man, it's just so cool. I'm just gonna skip through pages. I'm gonna spoil a lot. Oh, this is from Macross Zero. Oh. Oh my god, this looks so cool. I'm just getting like all nostalgic over this. Macross Frontier. Oh, the blue. Uh, Mikhail's uh, Walker with the speaker pants. <laughs> There it is, the Messiah. Whoa. Woo! Look at that. Here's our work. You can tell us Guantanamo? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> there he is. Hidetaka. A good looking guy. Oh look! Oh wow, has a QR code for his Twitter account and his Instagram account. Let's check it out. Okay, let's see here. Instagram link, open in browser. Let's see, there it is. So he takes it straight to his Instagram account. Uh, I suggest you guys follow him. Uh, huh. I mean, oh, okay, I follow him on my other Instagram account. Okay, I guess I'll follow him with my, with my Gunpla account here. All right, uh, let's take a look here now for the, uh, the that, okay, that was the Instagram account. Let's go for the Twitter account. There you go, Twitter account. And there it is. There's his Twitter account. Tinching hit time. He seems to have just finished a yogurt. You can easily remove sticking to the yogurt container by stroking it with the touch lid. I wish I knew it sooner. <laughs> I kind of do that. I do that. <laughs> I always say this too, like, so I can scrape the whole thing because the spoon doesn't get it. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, just follow him. All right, now I'm following him. <laughs> I thought I was following him. Oh, anywho. All right, so check that out. Tenjin has a little uh, bio here. Uh, what is design? 
Next volume. Oh, there's gonna be more! Hideki Tenji's history of Macross from the Macross Frontier films to Macross Delta and Archives. So there's gonna be a second volume. So there's gonna be the, Mac the the films, Delta, and Archives. And the archives are probably like gonna be artwork used for the um, for when uh, like a box uh, art box and stuff. Oh my god, I, dude! I hope this leads to like releasing his uh, his uh, Gundam art book. All right. Well, um, that's it, guys. Um, wow. I am overwhelmed. I am actually overwhelmed with um, with this thing. I've had it for a bit, just never finally had a chance to take a look at it. Man, I'm overwhelmed by it. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'm gonna link. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below on. Be, so you can guys can get uh, you want to you can get a copy of this I got it from Amazon so I'll, I'll leave the link below so you guys can check it out and uh, you know make uh, purchase your own copy of this because this is this is a fantastic you know, get yours before you know before they stop printing these you know I plan that's what I plan to do now I'm gonna, if it's available now I'm gonna pre-order it wow so yeah so, uh, you know, uh, so uh, thanks for Big West to, you know, be able to bring this out here for the U.S. Udo Entertainment to uh, releasing, you know, doing an amazing work uh, producing this book for us, you know. Uh, so, you know, I want to thank all of them. Uh, Tenji-san, you know, I want to thank him for all the great work that he's done for us and such so we can enjoy. And, of course, Carl Moy sounds here, you know, for, you know, continuing the the uh continuing building our rich history for macros for us to enjoy all right so i'm gonna end it there guys so uh, as always um thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you guys again uh, maybe in a gunpla building or another unboxing so all right so once again i love you all and bye